The mihi anima chetera tole, give me souls, take away the rest. Father John Paul SDB. We are now in the fifth Sunday of Easter. And in our gospel for today, taken from the gospel of John chapter 14 verse 1 to 12, parang pinapakita po sa atin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kung saan tayo nararapat. That God is calling us for one reality. And that is to be with the Father, to be with our Creator. Ito po yung mission nating lahat because this is the desire of God that we be together, together with Him and together with all our loved ones. That is the vision and that is the will of God. And in our gospel for the day, Jesus said, Where I am going, you will also be going. In my Father's house, there are so many rooms. Parang sinasabi dito that everybody that wish to be with the Father is welcome to be with Him. He has already prepared so many things for us. There are so many graces that He is already ready to give to each and every one of us. All we have to do is to be there, to choose to go there, to choose to be with our Father. That's why the Lord said to His apostles, no, And where I'm going, you know the way. No? Alam ninyo kung paano tayo makakauwi. You know how to be with the Father. But St. Thomas asked, Lord, show us the way. Show us the Father. And the Lord said, I've been with you so long and you don't know yet how to be with the Father. You are still longing for something that is obviously with you. And that is to put your faith in me. To put your faith in the Lord. Because He is the way, the truth, and the life. And He is the way towards the Father. Yun po yung pinapaalala ng ating Panginoon sa ating lahat. That we are being called to be with the Father. And if we choose to be with Him, we have to choose the Lord. And that is to put all our faith in Him. But by putting our faith in Him, means we are following His path, following His teaching. This is the words of the Lord. You know the way, and this is the way. Ito po yung sinabi niya. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do. This is a wonderful reminder to each and every one of us. It is not enough to say that I believe in God, that I believe in Jesus. These things, this proclamation of faith will not just save us, but what will really lead us going back to the Father is the way we live our faith. And this is what the first reading is presenting to each and every one of us. How the apostles, the first disciples live their life. They are really focused in spreading the good news. Yes, they are proclaiming the good news, but they are not forgetting the needs of their brothers and sisters. No, As they proclaim the word, they live in communion, making sure that they will be able to help their brothers and sisters in the way they can, according to their capacity. My brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful wake-up call to us. Our faith should be lived, should be expressed in the way we live and love and serve one another. Because in our second reading, this is the point. This is the point that God is telling to each and every one of us that we are called from darkness to light. Let us be the light to our brothers and sisters, bringing hope, bringing the gospel to them through our way of life and through the way we serve and love them. That is the call for each and every one of us as we celebrate this wonderful season of Easter. We are being reminded of the true reality of our faith, that we are meant to be with the Father, and Jesus is the way that we have to follow so that we'll be able to be with the Father. And how are we going to do this? By following His example. And his example is, proclaim the word and share your life to one another. So once again, my dear friends, 
Our faith is not just meant to proclaim it in words, but we have to proclaim it also in our actions. So once again, my dear friends, the Lord is asking us to put our faith in Him so that we'll be able to follow Him towards the Father. And His proclamation is also in His works. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.